Well, Prince Andrew is finally going to be fighting back, but as ever, how? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Thank you so much as ever for joining me today. Nice to see you. Whatever you're doing, take care. Let's have a big wave. Yes, I can't necessarily do it myself, but I can see you. Yes, come on, you can do better than that. Are you, are you going to bed already? How dare you? <laughs> Dropping off as I'm speaking, it's not allowed, you know. <laughs> if you're getting up, I hope you have a wonderful day, whatever you're doing. But as ever, truly do keep safe. The world is a very difficult place right now, let me tell you. I'm sure we all know, we're all living in it, aren't we? Back as ever, though, to your breaking royal story of the day. This story really centres upon someone who's had, uh, you know, some might say, trial by media, you know. Uh, whichever way you look at it, he never really got to trial. And as we explained to you before, and I've mentioned this actually in TV broadcasts, if Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, would have had his way, he would have continued down the litigation route, I've been told. And as ever, we have to say allegedly, simply because, uh, because of the year that it was, and of course because of what he knew about his late mother, the monarch, he had to wrap things up. That's what I've been told. Can't confirm it, can't deny it. Exactly what I've been told, but there you go. What's interesting now, though, as you know, there's two books based upon that now infamous interview uh, with the royal, known as Prince Andrew, the Duke of York. One all about, you know, from the producer's point of view by Sam McAllister and another one looming and both have been turned into TV dramas. Uh, the host of that show, Emily Maitlis, seemingly uh, is at loggerheads now with the once close producer, Sam McAllister. This is because they're both vying for the same attention, the same plot. What I find interesting about this particular story though is it's an interview and let me tell you how TV interviews work. You set it up, you find the location uh, and in the case of Prince Andrew the questions weren't agreed in advance, he just agreed to sit down without any pre-warning. Big mistake that as he's obviously found out to his own detriment. I think what's interesting here though is now both TV uh, companies are looking at this and realising actually they don't have that much of a story. Now, what they're going to have to do, because according to a very good source, Prince Andrew's lawyers will be watching with great relish to see exactly how he's portrayed and what allegedly was said behind the scenes by him or not by him, whichever way it may be. Now, what's interesting here is both TV dramas could get around this by sort of claiming based on, you know, the interview along with dramatic effect, which basically means dramatic license. So the bottom line is you can then say, well, this didn't necessarily happen, but we've popped it in, you know, to spice it up a little bit. It's a little bit like reality TV, you know. Now, if you read the book by Sam McAllister, you realise it's a bit of a dull story. You know, it's about a person who's chasing uh, the idea of how to get, uh, you know, that particular interview with such a high profile person. Yes, she's very good at the job. Yes, she worked incredibly hard, but it's just a simple one off interview, hardly worthy of a drama but seemingly two TV production companies feel it is. But now, with Prince Andrew's eyes on those particular production companies and the fact that there could be some legal followings to follow on once completed, these two dramas, either in reality or fact, ever truly reach the screen. As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.